My name is Ben and I'm going to speak on behalf of Group 4, followed by José and Christian. So the question that we have, which is a great question, is uh, can of this different part. Um, and just, we're not picking a technology. F um, throughout this presentation, CCS is going to be for the capture of pre-combustion and post-combustion or oxy fuel, and CCS, geological storage. So I'm going to speak on integrated, and then José on sustainable, and Christian on secure system. Just to give a little context on the integrated energy system, um, Professor Bakker and Sokolo put together this wedge concept. So, really, the main message is, as we know already, there's no single solution, and so really all the technologies that are going to help solve this climate change problem are going to have to be integrated. So here we've got the emission, and this is business as usual in dotted line. And if one would say, okay, let's stabilize the CO2 emission from now onwards, this is the orange line. And so this green triangle would be this CO2 avoided emission. And, um, and so what they said is, okay, let's skirt this enormous challenge, it's eight equal parts, and try to see how much effort for each technology, each possible solution, uh, how much effort would that represent. And if one wedge, so just one eighth of this challenge, was to be achieved by CCS, it represents an order of magnitude of 4,000 sniper projects that are installed by 2050. There we go. So really our goal is this transition to a low carbon energy system. Um, so we could have picked a country, we could have picked a continent, but really what we want to put forward is this methodolo methodology to answer this question, which is very general. So we said, okay, let's pick this IEA land, a fictitious country, and uh, we wanted to restrict ourselves to about a lifetime of one generation. And if we, as a general team, had to do uh, this methodology forward for this country, uh, what really needs to be done? So the first thing is evaluate this energy demand of the IEA land country. And once you've evaluated this, it's okay, create a portfolio of possible supplies and different technologies that would be the best to meet this demand. And really what's an integrated energy system? Um, speaking with an expert, it was, um, we came to consensus that it really needs to be consistent. So you're not going to be shipping coal or from the other side of the world if you've got other supplies in your country. And, um, and once you've got all these technologies in your energy system, you really want to frame them together depending on the drivers that affect your fictitious country, i.e. land. And so you go through the legal drivers, economical drivers, technological drivers, and obviously put all of these in the geopolitical context, but also cultural, environmental. And once you've got all these drivers, you have to define, okay, who's going to produce this energy, um, who's going to transmit it, and how you're going to consume it. So this um, methodology is a general one, but the output of this is going to be really unique depending on each country's uh, driver. So once oh, the colors didn't come too well, um, if uh, now we want to see how CCS would be integrated in this energy system, we won't have to answer this three uh, main question on the integration. So can CCS be economically viable, and how does it get integrated in the economics of our energy system? Um, we've seen it's billions of dollars, no company is going to put this money down if they don't have future financial security. There's going to have some kind of incentive, and a lot of people have been talking about it. But also people have want to say, okay, we want to make a business out of this. Um, let's say our year land has got emission, but it doesn't have any storage, so they'll have to ship this emission to another country and pay for it. Or the opposite, say, neighbors got loads of emission and we have loads of storage, so just make really a business out of this. Uh, secondly, is CCS um, going to be integrated in the legal framework of our uh, energy system? And uh, again, no company is going to put the money down unless they're forced to. So uh, IEA land is going to have to quickly ratify the Kyoto Protocol and you have to triple C. And then work towards the transport of all the challenging substances and the ownership of the poor space and the long-term liability. And finally, the integration of CCS in this energy system um, depending on if you already have a pipeline network, are you going to have to build a pipeline network? And once you've got these coal fired power plants or cement factories or different energy uh, supplies, how are you going to connect all of it physically through a transmission line? And finally, uh, can you answer to the variable demand in energy? And or if your production is going to be variable, how are you going to adapt all your system through this? So just a quick IPCC image of this perfectly integrated energy system where CCS is really part of it. 
and I'm going to have to also for the sustainable. Some 